their patriots. And he promised to pardon them if he returns to office. Trump said that there was a lot of love on January the 6th. The rest of the nation, including law enforcement, saw a lot of hate and violence. One Capitol Police officer called it a medieval battle. That same officer called vile rape, was called vile racist names. He said he was more afraid in the capital of the United States of America, in the chambers, than when he was fighting as a soldier in the war in Iraq. He said he was more afraid inside the halls of Congress than fighting in the war in Iraq. That may be true. He might have said that. But if he did, it's pathetic. Not a single one of the protesters on January 6th wielded a weapon inside the Capitol. Not one. Let alone discharge the weapon. The only one who discharged weapons were the Capitol Hill police, and the only one who was shot was Ashley Babbitt. Now, there was some terrible assault on some of the police officers there. I don't think the Capitol Hill police force is particularly accustomed to engaging in physical confrontation. They don't seem to be a very skilled or well-fit fighting force, that's for sure. So I'm sure it was unpleasant for them. A couple of them committed suicide later on. Who knows why suicide is very difficult to assess. But the reality is that the vast, vast majority of people sentenced on January, for January 6th did not commit violence. And the only people who died on January 6th, despite the lies repeatedly told by the media in the most melodramatic and manipulative ways, were Trump supporters.